A and AS level mathematics. Lesson 38, calculus part 9. And we're looking at curve sketching with the aid of calculus. Using calculus to help us sketch curves. So let's sketch this graph. Now just by looking at the equation, it's a quadratic so it's going to be a parabola. And because it's plus with the x squared it's going to be like that. If it was minus with the x squared it would be like that. So you can see a lot of things just by looking at it. However, what about the minimum point? We know it goes like that. What's the coordinates of the minimum point? Well, we can use calculus to work that out. Let's differentiate it. So dy dx equals 4x to the power 1. That will differentiate to be plus 5. And that will differentiate to disappear. This is the gradient anywhere on this graph. So when the gradient is 0, this will equal 0. So if we subtract 5 from both sides, and divide both sides by 4, we'll get the answer of minus 5 over 4, or 1 and a quarter. Now because it's a parabola, we know it's a minimum point, but we could use d2y dx squared and differentiate this again. And if we differentiate this again, we'll just get... If we differentiate this, we'll just get 4, which is definitely greater than 0, which is definitely there for a minimum. So it all adds up nicely. What we haven't yet got is the y coordinate. So we need to substitute this minus 1 and a quarter into the equation of the curve to work out the y coordinate. Now, as I've said before, do get in the habit of writing words along the way so the examiner can see the way you're working. So we're going to find the y coordinate. So the y coordinate is going to be 2 x squared, which is minus 5 over 4 squared, plus 5 minus 5 over 4s, minus 7. And I worked that out earlier and it comes to minus 10 and an eighth, which I'll write as a decimal. So, I've now got the coordinate, and I know it's the minimum point at minus 5 over 4, 1 and a quarter, 1.25, minus 10 and an eighth. So I can use that to sketch the graph. So here's the x and y axis. Minus one and a quarter. Let's write it was that I think. And minus ten and an eighth. There's the minimum point. We can also put x equals naught into there to get minus seven so we know it goes through there and there's our sketch. We can also find out where it cut the y axis to improve the sketch by putting that equal to naught and factorising it. Let's do that. I should put some words of explanation of what I'm doing, shouldn't I? Cuts x axis when. That's better. Cuts x axis when the equation comes to naught. So because that's a prime number, and so is that, I haven't got many choices. I think we'll find that it will work round that way. Just check it. That's plus 7x, that's minus 2x, that'll work. So it gives me that this value can equal 0. This value can equal 0. Subtract 7 from both sides. And divide by 2 will give us x equals minus 3.5. And, and that will give us x equals 1. So in other words, we can label that coordinate there as 1. And label that coordinate there as minus three and a half. So I have used calculus to help me sketch the graph because it worked out the minimum point. Now I'm not saying that it's better than other methods, it is another method which at times could be better. 
I mean, let's face it, I could have found the minimum point by completing the square. Let's just do that, shall we? Let's take the equation again. Now, to complete the square, this must be 1x squared, so I need to divide both sides by 2 to start with. So that will give me this. And then to complete the square, inside this bracket I put half of the coefficient of the x, in other words, one and a quarter, and to make this correct I need to subtract one and a quarter squared. Now if you actually work this out, this will come to minus 5.0625 but that is a half y so I need to double both sides so I put a double there and I double this and if you double that you'll get ten and a quarter sorry ten and an eighth and if you remember this tells you how the graph of y equals x squared is transformed it's transformed down the page that amount which in fact tallies with that. Not a very good eighth there, is it? And it moves it across the page, but the plus is going to go in that direction. So that tallies with it being moved across the page minus one and a quarter. The two outside has the other effect, but we're not interested in that for the moment. Well, there you go. Obviously, in an exam, you wouldn't do all of these things. You'd do what answers the question and what parts suit the particular question.